we were created in God's image, then when God was a child, he smushed fire ants with his fingertips and avoided tough questions. <laughs> there are ways around being the go-to person, everybody. Even for ourselves. Even when the answer is clear, like the holy water Gentiles would drink before they realized forgiveness is the release of all hope for a better past. I thought those were chime shells in your pocket, so I chucked a quarter at it, hoping to hear some part of you respond on a high note. You acted like I was hurling crowbirds at mocking bars and abandoned me for not making sense. Mm -hmm. Evidently, I don't experience things as rationally as you do. For example, I know mercy when I have enough money to change the jukebox at a gay bar. Somebody's got to change that shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, whenever someone shoves a stick of morphine straight up into your heart, goddamn, it felt amazing the days you were happy to see me. So I smashed a beehive against the ocean to try and make our splash last longer. Remember all the honey that had me looking like a jellyfish? Hey, but you, you walked off the water in a porcupine of light. Strands of gold drizzled out to the tips of your wasps. This. It's an apology letter to the both of us for how long it took me to let things go. It was not my intention to make such a production of the emptiness between us, playing tuba on the tombstone of a soprano to try and keep some dead singer's perspective alive. It's just that I could have swore you'd sung me a love song back there, and that you meant it. But I guess some people just chew with their mouth open. So I ate earplugs alive with my throat, hoping they'd get lodged deep enough inside the empty spots that I wouldn't have to hear you leave me. So I wouldn't have to listen to my heart keep saying, all my eggs, they're in a, bu ba they're in a basket of red flags. All my eyes to a bucket of blindfolds in the cupboard with the muzzles and the gauze. You know, I didn't mean to speed so far out and off, trying to drive your nickels to the well when you were happy to let them wishes drop, but I still show up for gentleman practice in the company of lead dancers, hoping their grace will get stuck in my shoes. Is that a handsome shadow on my breath, sweet woman? Or is it a cattle call and a school of fish to dance with me? Less like a waltz for panic and more for the way we'd hoped to swing the night we took off everything and we were swinging for the fences. Don't hold it against my love. You know I want to breathe deeper than this. I didn't mean to look so serious. Didn't mean to act like a filthy floor. Didn't mean to turn us both into some cutting board. But there were knives stuck in the words where I came from. Too much time in the back of my words. I pulled knives from my back and my words. I cut trombones from the moment you slipped away. And I know it left me looking like a knife fight, lady. Yeah, I know it left me feeling like a shotgun shell. You know, I know I might have gone and lost my breath, but I want to show you how I found my breath to death. It was buried under all the wind instruments, hidden in your castanets. God damn, if you ever want to know how it felt when you left, if you ever want to come inside, just knock on the spot where I finally pressed stop, playing musical chairs with your exit signs. I'm going to cause you a miracle. When you see the way I kept God's image alive, forgiveness, forgiveness is for anybody who needs safe passage through my mind. If I really was created in God's image, well then when God was a boy, he wanted to grow up to be a man. A good man. And when God was a man, a good man, he started telling the truth in order to get honest responses. He'd say, yeah, I know. I really should have worn my cross again. But I don't want to scare the Gentiles off. 